Hey guys, we are going to kick off an episode here, and I'm doing the before on this episode. We're going to call the California Boy Toy. No, definitely not. Uh, yeah, Mr. Clean says, no, don't do that. Yeah, this is a clean channel, that's right. So, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to build a license plate guitar, and we're going to start off with a John Sawyer standard size license plate kit. we got a couple of California black and yellow from the 60s license plates. These are getting really pricey. That will be reflected in the price of the guitar. Of course, we're going to make a neck and, and use this kind of wood, but I guarantee you what, this is going to be a slick guitar. Yeah, slick, like slick Oklahoma. That's slick. Yeah, that kind of slick. Slick. So, let's go to the bench. All right, again, this is a before of a California-themed license plate guitar. Um, we're going to show you some of the basic things that we start off with in terms of materials. I've got a John Sawyer uh, license plate frame kit. It's got uh, pre-drilled dowels. It has places to attach the plate or holders for the plate. Um, the license plates that go on here, when you're starting to price your jobs, these plates are a dime a dozen, um, but these not so much. I have to pick through my stack of plates here. Um, it's pretty easy to start getting into $50 and $60 per plate. Some of them have been painted when you start getting the numbers on them of the tags they get more expensive so I have a stash of these and I think I'll pick this one here maybe yeah let's use that one um, so that will fit on there after I glue that up let's set these off to the side um, I am going to put a floating bridge on it I've got a foil pickup that's going to sound great um, we're going to use a cut frat board that I'm going to frat. Um, we are going to use tulip poplar and oak. Oaks grow in California, so we're going to use some oak because I need a spacer board. You have to get, once you get these on the plate, you also have to remember that if you put this on the plate, it turns the entire plate into a pickup. So I'm going to have to put a spacer underneath this. So the neck is going to have to be up pretty high for this. Um, but what you'll end up seeing is I build these necks out in mass, cut them, put a scarf joint on it, and have these ready to go. Notice I perpendicularly dowel them where the scarf joint is. So um, there's something holding back the tension from the shearing off. Anyway, I have this one made up already. You know, there's some episodes I did about doing necks and the template for this, and I'll try to give you a playlist link right up there right about now. But when it comes to the trim and everything else on this guitar, I think I am going to use black stain, black plate, black stain. The stain is made from the galls of a California live oak. I think I should give you a link to that episode up there as well. Oak gall ink. And then, of course, we'll use some paint here and there that matches this. We will do some metal uh, up on the headstock and the tailpiece and do the things we do. So, like I said at the onset, we're going to do a few little clips along the way and speed through this so you can see how one is made start to finish without a lot of me talking, believe that or not. So, first thing we're going to do is glue up this box, get the notches cut in it the way we want, and then you'll see the steps starting with me taking the clamps off the box when this is glued up.
All right, guys, time to put some voice in this because this is where it gets a little bit shaky. There's a lot going on right here. This license plate needs to be down on this deck. At the same time, we're going to take a chunk or a piece out of the main neck board. And it's going to end up being about down to here. We're also going to notch the bottom board that I put on to come all the way to the heel over here because this all needs to be strengthened up. Meanwhile, there's another piece of wood, a piece of contrast wood that's going to help us keep all of this strong wedged in here, and that's been cut to a 45. These two cut at a 45. Furthermore, this part is going to drop down to be even with here. So we got a notch here, notch here, notch here, routing. Um, and the whole point is this thick coil pickup, foil pickup, needs to be sitting where it is just below the strings on the fingerboard. And to top all of this off, these things are going to be different color. This is going to be stained. This part and this part are going to be stained with oak gall ink, which is really, really black. And then we're going to do an accent color here and on the side of the fretboard that matches this. Now, tricky part again is I want to glue these things to wood surfaces, but I don't want to paint and stain after everything's put together. So we got to have all of this notched, figured out right, and then we can glue everything up and do what we need to do. Now, there are a couple little things that will help you. Um, slide rules, squares, all of those things will help you a bunch. What will really help you a bunch is if you have ever done one before. Okay? You see all that? And then, of course, it's got to look old, too. So, there it is. Let me continue on and I'll give you a few glimpses here and there and we'll peg away till it's done.
Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, we're at the part right now where we're going to put fret wire on the fingerboard with our arbor press. And I think I showed you all how to do that on an episode right about there, right about now. But anyway, I swear I'm not going to talk too much, but I'm also going to put um, tuners, good tuners, and a nut on this headstock. So I got to thinking, I was digging through my scrap pile of cans and scrap apparatus and stuff because I want to put a piece of metal on there, which got me to thinking about cans and junk cans, all my junk cans. Hey, Robert Reynolds, what do you think about that, Stack Master? And all these coffee cans got me to thinking about Mrs. Olson. And we agreed, we're not going to have those kinds of thoughts about Mrs. Olson anymore, are we? So, um, yeah, I will tell you that I have something that you're going to covet very highly because junk cans, seeing them makes me want to buy more junk cans. Oh, look at that puppy. You're going to like this one when you see it. Watch for this. Go ahead and covet. It's all right. I will pray for you if you'll pray for me about my problem with that. Okay, so let's listen to some more music and I will fret the fretboard, the fingerboard, and we'll put tuners on here and get a nut on here and you just kick back and watch.
right, let's catch up. We took the end of the neck, which sticks out past the body. We drilled some holes. We put in some metal wrist pins. We put in some copper tape. We covered the wrist pins and the copper tape with a piece of metal and then drilled holes from the bottom coming up through the wrist pins through the metal and punched holes in those so the strings will be grounded to this metal and tape which comes to the side and then we put a piece of metal here and a grounding wire there that will go to all of our controls which will be situated in this area here under the license plate. All right, now we're at the point where we need to put the plate mounts on, uh, the pickup, the wiring, volume control, uh, detail out the fret board and the frets, and then do some of our matchbook magic on this thing. So we'll zip through this fairly quickly and catch a little tidbit of each of those different things.
Okay, we're going to stop here for a second, and I want to explain to you that this is the coil pickup cover. It has four holes in it. We centered it up, as you saw, with the fingerboard in the center of this that we measured off. This is actually a flat coil pickup. It's magnetic. I drilled a hole here. I put a grommet in here so these wires will never rub off. And I set this down here. This is magnetic. It's going to stick to the plate. Now, some people want it stick to want to it to stick to the plate because it ghosts or turns the entire metal surface of the plate into a pickup. Now, I don't know if that uh, waters down the pickup or what it does, but I personally like to put a spacer between this and the plate, and that way it focuses everything here. And I've got enough room, as you can see here, to bring this up where it's going to be right below the string. So I'm going to take a piece of this Patron box, and I am going to put a metal spacer or a wooden spacer. I'm going to cut this out on a jigsaw, and then I will place this underneath the pickup, and then it will raise it up a little bit. It will take care of that, and it will not magnify the plate so much when I put on the cover and screw everything down. at the point where this thing is going to live and breathe now we have an amp hooked up we have our circuitry hooked up and let's turn up the oh there's a 60 cycle hum that comes with the poor wiring that is the shed we got a magnet there and we have isolated the plate now again if you want to turn this thing into the whole thing into a pickup you just take that piece of wood out from there but now it's time to put the bridge on and we've already calculated 25 and a half scale 12th fret and then we've put the line right there and we are going to put this floating bridge right on that line
All right, here we are at the end of the California Boy Toy guitar episode. I told you at the beginning, this was going to be slick, slick, and it is. And you can see, start to finish, I showed you how to build it. So the before on this one was some California license plates. These are getting expensive, and a John Sawyer license plate frame, and some wood. Yeah. Now it's time for the after. Get ready to be completely and utterly disamazed. Ooh, check this out. Coveter's Paradise. Let's run through what this is. Okay, the first thing you need to know is it plays. Even though I don't. Yeah. Somebody else will play it. Don't worry about that. I guarantee you. Okay, let's start off with the boring part on the back. We got a strap button on a neck that is multi-layered, got a nice heel board, sticks out. Um, I put a volume control so I don't mess up this shot. I put a buffalo nickel right here in the place where your thumb slides down here when you're on the 12th fret. See that? I know where I'm at right away. I don't have to worry about it. It's got some great tuners. It's got Tammy's signature. This neck was stained with California Oak Gull ink, and we've seen that episode. I don't know if I have any more cards. I'll try to give you one there. But this is off of galls that grow on California native oaks and turn into these big things that are triggered by the ovipositation of the aphidious wasp. Believe it. Um, yeah, we've got our Palmiro Junk Pile guitar sticker. We've got this cheap, lame, yet wondrous sunburst that matches this California license plate. Now, we have a floating bridge. It's adjustable. We have a pickup, and you heard that. We have our grease zerk. You know we have to have a grease zerk. Um, yeah, the California plate, again, these things are getting pricey. We've got this plethora of matchbooks, and we have metal on the headstock, which matches the metal on the tailpiece that grounds everything. And we have a pence or penny coin from England. Oh, right? Why is that on here? I don't know. The same reason. There's probably these Union Jack matchbooks. But this is it. I like the way it turned out. It plays well. And it's going to be out the door real quick. So, uh, thank you for watching this. I think that if you're still at the end uh, now and listening to me, you really need to get a life. But if you've watched through it, you've got step by step on how to do one of these. A lot of steps involve people say, why are these guitars so expensive? Well, you saw the number of hours we have into it, and I think I'm fairly efficient at that. But anyway, it's been a pleasure to build the California Boy Toy. Now, we're going to stay on the theme of license plate guitars for a little bit, especially frames on how you build a license plate guitar out of something that's got a really long plate. So watch for that one soon. Uh, give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see ya! Mm -hmm.